How's it going? This is Shane Thomas ready to show you another country classic on the acoustic guitar. This time, this video, we are going to learn Much Too Young to Feel This Damn Old by Garth Brooks. Off Garth Brooks' 1989 self-titled debut album, Garth Brooks. It was written by Garth Brooks and Randy Taylor, and it is my pleasure to show you how to play this song. I appreciate the request for this song from Steven. Always appreciate the comments and the the request that I get from each and every one of you it is much appreciated. I love the fact that y'all watching these videos and learning how to play the guitar and learning these these classic songs to keep the uh, these classic songs alive. It's a fairly simple song. The intro is a little. It can be a little advanced. Depends on how you play it. So we're going to make it as simple as possible while still sounding like the song because the intro uses this kind of ha hybrid of a picking and a and a finger picking kind of thing but if you just want to strum along to the the chords of the intro that's perfectly fine and i'll show you how to do it we only got about five chords to learn for this song the beauty is that you pretty much play them in the same order for the most part. Well, there's only four chords that you really play the entire song. The there's a the fifth chord you only play a couple times during the whole song. So it's a fairly easy song, believe it or not. Just the intro is a little tricky if you you're trying to match your guitar with all that finger picking that's going on there in the intro. So let's learn section by section of the song, chord by chord, and we'll get it, and you'll know how to play much too young to feel this damn old. And if you're new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, get all the latest guitar tutorials of these country classes as soon as I publish them. All right, it's in the key of G. We're gonna learn the G chord. First, you put a finger on the sixth fret, or sixth fret, sixth string of the third fret, then fifth string, put a finger on the second fret. And I would advise to, to put your middle finger here on the fifth string and your ring finger here on the sixth string, third fret, because that's very important making these chord changes, I think. I think it'll help you out. Uh, play the second, third, and fourth string open and make sure you press down on the first string third fret with your pinky so you can play that G note there. Check out the chord diagrams as always. So that's our first chord. Remember we got five total chords. So if we get these down, you'll have the whole song. All right, first finger for the A minor, which is your next chord in this song, in the intro and in, in the verses. First finger goes on the second string first fret. Then press down on the second and on the third and fourth strings with your middle finger and your ring finger on the second fret. Strum down, fifth string on down. And that's your A minor. D is the next chord you want to learn. Middle finger goes on the first string, second fret. First finger goes on the third string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the second string, third fret. Strum down, fourth string on down. We're getting there. That's our third chord. Fourth chord is C major. Put your first finger, still just like you had it on the A minor, on the second string, first fret. Put your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. And put your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. I might have said second fret here. First finger, second string first fret so make sure that check out those chord diagrams that's why i keep them there in case i uh miss miss speak or miss smoke that's c so so far we got g a minor d c back to g back to a that's the first part of the intro. There's two parts to the intro. The second part is what makes this song to me, or one of the, one of the reasons this song is such a classic. That's when the fiddle kicks in. A minor to D. C, 
G D. So the intro in his most simplified version is the chords in the following order G to A minor to D to C to G back down the D back to G and that's when we start our verses so and you have two rotations of that first rotations if you're just strumming or if you're picking just the same rotation second time around the second rotation round that's when the fiddle kicks in all right so just kind of know that but it's the same chords g a minor d c g d back to g now if you want to spruce it up a little bit i'm not going to show you because probably the majority of people just want to learn the chords and how to strum along to this song but i will show you some little tips and some little things you can add even if you strum along you can when you play the g you can press down on the third string second fret then play the second string open now remember you're making the g chord like that your g or your pinky's already going to be there on the third fret of the first string so when you when you play it's already there that pinky's already right there on on that g note so that's your first chord so g third string second fret play the second string open play the first string third fret to a minor now a minor when you make the a minor this is called a hammer on when i hammer just picture my first finger up like a hammer hammering down on the second string first fret when i go to a minor then i play that second string open so it might be better if i do it like this and then remember my pinky just like I played it here with the G and that's how you get that sound in that intro when he does that a minor so G a minor play the first fret second string then play it open now you go to the D chord, kind of do the same thing like a hammer on like we did with A minor, but this time we're hammering on with our middle finger when we're playing the D. So down, play it open, then play that third fret of the second string. Remember, you're doing all this with the already playing those chord shapes anyway. So, so far. D to C. Now, when we play the C, you can play the first string open, and then put your pinky. You put your pinky on the third fret of the second string, then take your pinky off. And remember, you're playing the C chord, so your first finger is already on that second string first fret. So it kind of sounds like this in its entirety. G. A minor, D, C, G, D. That's if you want to spruce it up a little bit and kind of sound like the record. To really sound like the record, you, I can make a whole video on just the intro and the finger picking and how you do all that if you really want to sound like the, the record. but. To keep it simple, to get you learning this song, to know the chords, the strumming pattern, and for the sake of time, if you want to add those little hammer-ons and those little additions, to the intro, you can. The rest of the song is a lot simpler than the intro is. All right, let's get to the verses. First verse, you're still kind of doing the picking pattern just like you did in the intro. But if you don't want to do that, just strum along. Uh, the second verse, which we'll get to, of course, is where you, if you're trying to play along with the record or wanting to sound like the record, 
that's when you really start strumming. But you can strum anytime you want. But at first it's, this old highway is getting longer. Same chords, G, A minor. Seems there ain't no ends in sight. So G, A minor, D, C, G. Do it again. Sleep would be best, but I can't afford the rest. Got a ride in Denver tomorrow night. See the same chords for these verses, that, just like you did the intro. The picking pattern. Now, I wasn't really concentrating on my picking pattern there when I was singing. I just want you to know the chord progressions. And you know, as you all watch these videos, you know I don't get hung up on the strumming patterns too much. I'm more about feel, whatever works best for you, whatever style you want to play. But if you're trying to play along with the record, the first verse, this old highway is getting longer verse, is he's picking it. But then the second verse, when poor Gar called that house, called his house, nobody's answered for two weeks. We know what's up, don't we? That's starting strumming call the house but no one answers g a minor d for the last two weeks no one's been home same chords now strumming pattern some people will play down 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 up down 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 up, up. some will play up to you whatever you feel whatever you think matches the record that's what you need to play uh, so second verse is same chords as the first verse as the intro so get through that verse I do want to sing it because I love that verse so much so let's let's practice call the house but no one answered for the last two weeks no one's been home do it again. I guess it's through with me. Tell the truth, I just can't see what's kept the woman holding on this long. G to D. Now, well, I think they stay on the G right there. Uh, it's, it's weird when I don't play it in normal time. Uh, <laughs> I have to stop and think about it. Chorus. So that's your verses G, A minor, D, C, G and you just do that throughout the intro twice two rotations and do it through the verses verse one twice do the rotation twice i mean and verse two twice now let's learn the chorus to much too young the field is damn old all right now that we learned the intro and the first verse and the second verse let's learn the chorus now before we learn the chorus let's kind of recap because i think this is important it'll help you learn the song uh, fairly easy just think of each section that we do having two rotations of the same chord sequence so what i mean is intro with g a minor d c g d that's one chord rotation of the chord sequence Let's repeat that same chord sequence, second rotation, same thing. G, A minor, D, C, G, D. That's our second rotation. See, it's the same chords in the same order for two rotations. That's how it works in the intro. That's how it works in verse one. That's how it works in verse two. And that's how it's going to work in the instrumental that we're getting ready to learn. But before the instrumental comes the chorus and two rotations of the same chord sequence with the chorus, but different chords and different chord sequence. So we left off with Wonder Woman, uh, Garth is talking about, called the house, but nobody's answered. Last two weeks, no one's been home. I guess she's through with me. Tell the truth, I just can't see what's kept a woman holding on so long. We stopped here on the G, in the second verse on this G chord. Now we go into the chorus. Start off with C, and the white line's getting longer. G, 
D with an F sharp in the bass, E minor. What? <clears throat> You're probably like, hold on, Saint, slow down, brother. Dang. But I will. I'll show you. C major, which you already know. G major, which you already know. D, which you know, know but we're going to add that F sharp in the bass section on the bass string here so second fret of the sixth string play that f sharp that's what that is an f sharp note to e minor e minor is very easy you you simply play the fourth and fifth string of the second fret strum all other strings open and that's a common progression that you see in a lot of Garth Brooks songs. G to D with that F sharp in the bass, E minor. So I would practice that quite a bit because a lot of songs will use that. G, D with the F sharp in the bass, E minor. So let's recap how it goes. And the white line's getting longer. Saddles getting cold to C, feel to D, this damn old. All the cards are on the table. Here's our second rotation. Remember, I've seen the same chord sequence for two rotations. So start off with C again. All the cards are on the table. Ain't no ace left in the hole. Same chord, same chord sequence. I'm much too young to feel this damn old. All right, so let's play it up to speed. And the white line's getting longer, and the saddle's getting cold. I'm much too young to feel this damn old. One more time, another rotation. All the cards are on the table. Ain't no way left in the hole. Lord, I'm much too young to feel. This damn old, let's keep it up. Now, when it goes to that instrumental, go back to the chords of the intro. G, A minor, D, C, G. This is where that steel guitar is playing. Now it goes to the fiddle, second rotation. G, A minor, D, C, G. First three, competition, G to A minor. Double Bronx, no, I can't recall. Won't out taste Chris Lou. Only women and bad foods. This is our second rotation. Only friends have it all. Repeat the chorus. And the white line's getting longer. D with that F sharp in the bass, E minor. I'm much too young to feel this damn old. Second rotation. Cards are on the table. Ain't no ace left in the hole. Much too young to feel this damn old. All right, so at the end of that chorus, the last chorus of the song, he's going to repeat, Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old. So remember, we went from... All the cards are on the table and the ace left in the hole. I'm much too young to feel this damn old. Now, why he's on the G, that last line, and we got the whole song. Lord, I'm, Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old. I got to do it in real time. Sorry, folks. Let's, let's pick it up here. All the cards are on the table. Ain't no ace left in the hole. I'm much too young to feel this damn old G. D with F sharp minor to the E minor. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old. And that's how you end the song. Yeah, it's, it's wild when I slow it down and have to think about it. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, the end of the last chorus, you do that progression. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old. Then you stay on that G. Then you end the song. And that's how you play 
Much too young to feel this damn old by Garth Brooks. What a song. Hopefully, you learned how to play, learned all the chords. Like I said, you can fancy it up as much as you want. Simplify it as much as you want, as long as you know the right chords, which are the G, the G, A minor, D, C, G, D, and back to G for your intros, your verses, and instrumental. Chorus, C, G, that progression. So you just got five chords to learn. And um, and that's it. And you just, I think an important thing to remember is doing those two rotations for each section of the song. And I think you get it. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get all the latest acoustic guitar lessons and guitar tutorials as soon as I publish them. Shane Thomas, I want y'all to keep humming and strumming, keep practicing that guitar, keeping these songs alive.